What's up guys, Sal here. So as if Huawei wasn't having a bad enough week, they've announced that they are delaying the release of their foldable Mate X, not by a month or two, but by a whopping three months. Huawei was initially expected to release the Mate X in June. The goal was to beat Samsung's Galaxy Fold to the market to gather that initial media attention, but clearly it has fallen through. Now they'll release the Mate X in September. Now interestingly, Huawei is blaming Samsung for this. A spokesperson for Huawei told CNBC, and I quote, We don't want to launch a product to destroy our reputation, as if it wasn't already tarnished by the US government. This is a clear dig at Samsung, whose Galaxy Fold launch didn't go according to the plan. For those of you living under the rock, Samsung delayed the launch of its foldable smartphone because some review units randomly started to fail. Samsung is yet to announce a new release date by the way. Now Huawei is saying that they are taking a cautious approach because they don't want to repeat the mistakes of Samsung. While I do agree that Samsung messed it up with the Galaxy Fold, and it's possible that the Fold's issues had something to do with the delay of the Mate X. But I imagine Huawei had to rethink the launch of the Mate X after the Trump ban as well. Because right now, I don't think anyone with a sane mind would spend 2200 euros or 2600 dollars on the Mate X considering their future is uncertain. So it doesn't really make sense for them to release the handset and watch no one actually buys it. Anyway, Huawei says the Mate X will run Android because it was launched before the ban and it received the Android rights from Google before the ban went into effect. But the thing is, it will receive no future updates, which will be horrible for a $2600 device. So I think it's probably a good thing they are taking some extra time and sort out things with the US government or launch it when they fully develop their own operating system. Because right now, the last thing they want is some bad publicity. Even if one Mate X fails, it will be blown out of proportion courtesy of Samsung and Huawei can't afford that right now. As if Huawei wasn't under so much of public scrutiny, they have seemingly begun allowing advertisement on the lock screen of several of its phones. It's not limited to a certain region, but a number of Huawei phone owners from multiple countries have noticed that their devices have suddenly begun displaying ads of Booking.com on their lock screens. I don't know what Huawei is on these days. Like I've said, the last thing they want right now is negative publicity. But it looks like Huawei just wants to make money as it wants to generate new revenues in the wake of international uncertainty about its future in the smartphone market, at least in terms of using Android. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out.